Welcome back to Lee's Lately. Before we get into today's video, make sure you hit that big red button down below. We are so close now to 8K and every subscriber goes a long way. Thanks for the continued support. Today's video is going to be a bit of a scout report on someone we have been linked with now. In recent days, I did mention how Junior Firpo has been linked with a move back to his former club, uh, Real Betis, in Spain. But apparently Leeds were shocked by these rumours and have not heard anything on their end. So there's no been concrete. There's no been. Uh, there has not been any concrete moves for Junior Firpo. However... We are a little bit lacking in that department, um, as I talked about the other day, with injury-prone players such as Sam Byram and Junior Firpo making up our only left-back options, really. And you kind of want to have Sam Byram able to play that right-back role as well. So, someone that we have been linked with is Irish under-21 international Anselmo Garcia McNulty. Now, Anselmo Garcia McNulty was born in Spain, um, but has Irish family and apparently goes there every summer. Um... He is a left back, a combative left back who likes to try and get into tackles, likes to try and get stuck in a lot more than somebody like Junior Firpo, uh, Firpo might do. Um, he's a little bit more of a, a timing based slide tackle, stand tackle sort of player. He will go in and he'll make those tackles and he'll make an impact on the game in that way. Um he loves a long switch as well, which is something we're going to talk about. He loves a long switch from left back to right wing. Now, in his clips and in his compilations that I've seen of him, he's taken the ball in left back and then he's seen a gap for the right winger to go forward. He's got an absolute ping on him where he can fire the ball cross field diagonal ball right into the path of the winger now the reason that this might be quite good for Leeds is on the counter attack can you imagine us breaking out of the box much like we did last season from a corner or something like that the ball goes to Jorginho Ruter and he plays the ball down the line to Anselmo now Anselmo Garcia McNulty can then look up and see somebody like Daniel James with his absolutely electric pace running down the right wing and as players are start, starting to come and come over to him and converge on him, you've got that option of keeping the attack alive by playing it into the space in behind over the top. So that's something that he's got in his locker that would be really, really useful for Leeds, I think, on those counter-attacking moments uh, in transition. This season, he has scored two goals and got two assists for PEC Zvole in the Netherlands in the Eredivisie League. Um, he's pretty, pretty... Um, useful for a, for a 21 year old he's been used 31 times I think it was last season um, and he is six foot one so he's the type of player who yes he's 21 years old but like I said 31 games last season he's got decent experience in a good league against good opposition and uh, he's also six foot one which is also something that we have been lacking over the last couple of years, a bit of height at the back. Now, I don't think he would come in and take the place of Junior Firpo straight away, but for a 21-year-old, it's the type of move where you can see him growing into it. It's a 49ers-style move. Um, spoken to Jer about uh, him because, of course, he's from the Republic of Ireland and uh, Anselmo Garcia McNulty has played for the uh, under-21s Irish national team. And uh, Jer shows me that he looks like a good up-and-coming talent, looks like somebody who's really good um, and has a bright potential for the future, which is something that the 49ers might look at for that kind of resale value or to be able to use him in the team Um on a more permanent basis once he gets a few games under his belt and if he reaches that potential that he is uh, so capable of doing. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about some of his statistics now, but before we do that, just a bit of his club history. He was born in Spain, but actually came through the ranks at Wolfsburg. Um, he came through the under-18s and the under-23s team before getting a move to uh, NAC Breda or NAC Breda before eventually moving after one year to uh, Pex Vola in the Netherlands. Um, and so we'll get into some of his statistics now a little bit. Now, his statistics, he's not fantastic in terms of um, his passing and things like that. Passes attempted, He's in the 66th percentile, so he's in the top 44% for players in his position over the last 365 days. His pass completion is 75.7%, which is in the 43rd percentile. Now, for a defender, because defenders are often at the back, um, hence the name defender, they do tend to pass the ball around between themselves and get a lot of accurate, successful passes, which is like... Joe Rodon, uh, Ethan Ampadu, people like that would have had a high um, pass completion rate. But what you have to kind of bear in mind with situations like this is that McNulty is 
a flying wing back. He's going to be getting forward into those positions where, like I said before, he might be playing a long diagonal ball over the top to the right winger. And those are the sort of situations where you are going to lose the ball. So all that says to me is that he's trying to get the ball forward. Um, He's trying to get the ball into the attacking half. Now, his progressive passes are 4.2 per 90, which is over 10 yards into the opposition half. So that uh, puts him in the 58th percentile, so he's in the top 42% of players in similar leagues in his position. Now, similar leagues um, to the Eredivisie, I think that does include leagues like the Bundesliga and other like top five leagues that are pretty good leagues. So you are comparing him to quite elite players there and he is only 21. And of course, this wouldn't be coming in straight away as a first team center, a first team left back. So you'd have to give him a little bit of time to bed in. Um, clearances per 90 and tackles per 90 interceptions. This is where he shines really. Like I said, he's a combative left back and he does uh, get stuck into the tackle. So tackles per 90, 2.62 per 90. That's 83rd percentile. So in the top 17%. Interceptions, 1.29 puts him in the top, um, in the 71st percentile. Clearances, 2.8 puts him in the 78th. And aerials, 1, 1.44 puts him in the 79th percentile, respectively. Now, aerials one is something that we struggled with a little bit against corners and defending that we had Joe Rodon who was excellent at clearing those and actually Patrick Bamford sometimes when he comes back and marks that front post and he's able to clear them away um but having an extra left back somebody who can sit on that front post somebody who can get in there and and get um get a header on it given his height is something that you uh, you can't undervalue in a team like Leeds. According to Transfermarkt, which is the uh, the transfer market website where you can find all the values of players, he is worth 1 million euros. So yes, it might be a backup player, but it's someone who I think could be really, really exciting for the future. Somebody who could come in straight away, sit on that bench and start to get more and more game time. Um, potentially replacing Junior Furpo if we were to go up to the Premier League if he reaches his potential but he's only 21 so I think it's an exciting transfer to make I think it's an exciting move to make I think it's somebody who you get for not much money whatsoever like I said before it's a very 49 it's a very Leeds United move to make over recent years is to sign somebody young um, with a potential to to go well, sky high. So Anselmo Garcia McNulty is somebody Leeds, I think, have been looking at and hopefully get over the line because I could see him as somebody who um, who really does reach his potential in a Leeds United shirt and having a first season in the championship before potentially going back to the Premier League could only be a good thing for a player like him to get that game time in. Um, and he's strong and physical and six foot one, so I think he'd do well in the championship as well. I know it's a rough, rough and tumble league at times, Um but I certainly think he, he'd have the uh, he'd have the measure of whatever opposition winger came up against him. So look out for that name. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I understand maybe not many people will have heard of him. I hadn't heard of him until we were linked, so I had a little look into him. I'm quite impressed with what I see, and I'd be uh, I'd be happy, very happy if Leeds were to sign him. Thanks for watching Leeds lately, and I'll see you in the next one.